Good afternoon. I'm Matt Motko, the Executive Director for the Florida Regional Office, and I'd like to welcome you to Service Source Florida. Service Source Florida has many unique programs. We're the only Service Source affiliate that works in partnership with the State Division of Vocational Rehabilitation to provide privatized VR services. Hi, I'm Tina Herzig, Vice President of Operations with the Florida Division of Vocational Rehabilitation Contract. I'm here in Vero Beach, Florida, which is only one of our 16 offices throughout Florida. In April of 2021, myself and this contract celebrated 20 years of service with the Florida Department of Vocational Rehabilitation. Service Horse has a very unique contract with them, being the only provider of state vocational rehabilitation services as a private provider. Our 145 employees have done a wonderful job over the last year during this pandemic, serving our participants in a virtual manner and able to follow with our mission of helping them to gain independence and to employ, whether it means to retain their current employment or to obtain new employment during this time. My name is Emily Howe. Welcome to the Service Source Vocational Rehabilitation Office located in Stewart, Florida. My name is Lucas Halverson. I'm an Assistant Project Director with our Florida Vocational Rehabilitation Program. Hi, I'm Ashley Harper. I'm the Unit Supervisor for the Florida Vocational Rehabilitation Offices located in Ocala and Inverness. I oversee our North Florida offices located in Old Town, Lake City, Jacksonville, Gainesville, Ocala, Inverness, and Winter Garden. Vero Beach, Port St. Lucie, Okeechobee, Stewart, West Palm Beach, Coral Springs, Miami Lakes, Cutler Bay, Miami, and the Keys. This board, titled Oh The Places You'll Go, represents all of the customers that our unit has helped over the past year obtain employment. Our success is measured by their success. Hello, come on in. We've been waiting for you. We have a robust housing program, and we manage our company's entire housing portfolio of over 300 units from Florida to North Carolina. What are some of your housing goals and how did service or support you in obtaining those goals? Well, I have my own place to begin with. That's a big, 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 big one. Okay. So I was sleeping on people's couches. I was no so living in a tent for a year and a half because of my disability. So the past six years have been really a blessing. Hi, my name's Aaron. Um, um, I've been a uh, resident of here at the ballpark for like six years and um, I want to say that um, it's been a great experience here since I've been living here. I started out at um, St. Vincent de Paul. Um, I was in a homeless shelter for you know, veterans um, a, a few years ago before I came here. I just love it here. I really, I really do. That's the honest truth. I love it, love it here at the ballpark. We have a fully functioning call center where we provide pre-employment transition programs for people entering the workforce. So I'm Chuck Smith of Opportunity Calls, and this is Katie Bandle. She's one of our agents here uh, taking calls for our housing program. And um, in addition to the call center, we also have a state licensed training program where we train on customer service and call center skills. Uh, we also assist students with placement hoping to find them some gainful employment in the community. We also have a comprehensive Warrior Bridge program that includes the Veterans Mall, which is located here in our Clearwater office. Here in the Veterans Mall, uh, we take donations from uh, local veterans in the community who are looking to help out veterans that are transitioning out of homelessness or that are looking for work. Uh, we get referrals from the VA Employment Services and other local nonprofits uh, and state agencies that are looking to help uh, veterans find gainful employment. Uh, here on this side of the Veterans Mall, this is where we have our Veteran Home Starter Kits. Our Veteran Home Starter Kits are consist of uh, basic household items. These are uh, all brand new items that are assembled and distributed to veterans that are transitioning out of homelessness uh, through the VA uh, and other programs uh, administering federal dollars to tackle veterans homelessness. Uh, in the seven years that we've had the Veterans Mall open, we have distributed nearly 2,500 starter kits. 